Hi everyone and welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Today we're going to be making no bake brownie bites. Now, when you look at the recipe, it says that the chocolate chips are optional. So when you look at the nutritional information, he did not include them in the nutritional informa information and he came up with two net carbs, but he used traditional maple syrup and he used traditional chocolate chips. So I did nutritional ingredients and what I found was if I did sugar-free chocolate chips, added those in and swapped out and did a sugar-free maple syrup and made them low carb keto approved. So all I did was take the recipe and keto approve it, that it still came out to two net carbs because I went ahead and added these in where he didn't have them before. So the carb count is exactly the same. The difference is the calories go from 50 to 90. Everything else, your total carbs is four, your net carbs is two. The only difference is if you're gonna go keto, you're gonna up the calories from 50 to 90. That's the difference from going with sugar to without sugar. We're actually adding calories with taking the sugar away that's okay guys, because we can add this and keep the carb count the same. So here we go. We're going to make those tweaks. So it's three ingredients, the optional fourth. So if you follow the nutrition facts below, you can enter it into your carb manager, just up the calorie count by 40 to 90 instead of 50 and everything else is the same. So here we go. We start with three ingredients, one cup, of natural almond butter okay so we're gonna go sugar-free on this you only want almond butter and you want it to be kind of drippy so make sure when you buy it in the store you see some separation with the oil that you've got to stir it so it pours e easily one cup of sugar or one half cup of sugar-free maple syrup two-thirds cup and I'm using Dutch cocoa powder lower than lower in carbs than regular cocoa powder and then we will add these in. Let's get mixing these. I may end up using a fork if it gets thick. So all we're going to do is mix these first three. Now these can be stored in the refrigerator for up to four weeks or in the freezer, guys, for up to six months. When we're done making these, you can either put them in the freezer for about a half hour to get them set and ready to go, or in the fridge for a couple of hours. Up to you how you want to do it. So you'll see that did not take long at all, and we already have a pretty good dough. Look at that, can you see that? Let me hold that up. Got a good, nice, here, it's a blizzard treat. You know, they always show you upside down. <laughs> all right, so now all we're going to do, that mixed up so easily, guys. So I'm taking the recipe and all I'm doing is taking anything that has sugar and pulling it out and doing sugar-free keto swaps. Okay, lilies, half a cup, stirring that in. So basically our brownie bites are gonna be chocolate chip brownie bites. He was like, that's optional. I'm like, that is not optional. I don't know who he thinks he is. In my world, that is mandatory. So, all right, these are going to make 20, Four, 24. So I'm kind of wondering if my cookie scoop might be a tad bit big. I have a parchment paper here and I'm just gonna start with a couple and then I'll come back and show you all 24 and then I'll let you know about what size they ended up being. So let me just kind of roll this off. This is why you don't wanna wear rings, have freshly cleaned hands. Yeah, cause it's already kind of sticking. But I'm gonna do about a half, and you're gonna roll it into a ball. 
it will set in your fridge or freezer depending on how long you want to wait put it on your parchment paper you want 24 all approximately the same size i will be back with all 24 and i right now that's golf ball size i'll let you know if i end up with smaller but i'm going to make 24 so that way i can give you an accurate size so i'll see you back here okay so i have finished they are literally the same size as the very first one so they are all about golf ball which is that small scoop i just didn't heap it i just kind of filled it flat so it's a cookie scoop just don't heap it just fill it flat take it out roll it into a ball and you will have literally 24. so i'm going to put them in the freezer because i want to go a little bit fast and we'll be back for the taste test. All right, so they have all firmed up, as you see, this plate here. And I am simply gonna take one and bite in. We'll see just how good they taste. It tastes like a chocolate chip brownie that's not been baked, very chewy. Mm. This is definitely a really good afternoon treat. Works as a fat bomb because you've got that good fat from the almond butter. And yet, if you've got that sweet tooth and you want to have some chocolate, it works great for that too. So these are wonderful. Oops, I'm dropping a piece. These are absolutely wonderful, wonderful for an afternoon treat without breaking on the carbs. So hope you guys enjoy these. Super easy, super delicious, and I'll see you next time. Bye.